Hi everyone in Cloud Computing and welcome to episode 27 of the Cloud Computing Australia show with Brad Nelson and the world's number one cloud industry expert and thought leader David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. In this week's show, David and I are talking about creating a safe online environment for your business is a major concern for leaders today with employers either being your biggest strength or your greatest weakness when it comes to data security. And make sure you stay until the end of the show to get David's top three tips for your organization. Hi, Dave. It's great to see you on the show this week. Yeah, it's great. It's great to be here. This is a great topic. I'm looking forward to digging digging into it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, When will companies understand that data security training reduces the risk of a breach, Dave? Normally after a breach. <laughs> so uh, it's funny, if, if uh, I want to break into a system, I can do it the hard way. In other words, figure out the technical vulnerabilities and figure out how to exploit operational uh, inefficiencies and those sorts of things. Or I can just take a, a call list or an email list and send somebody, call somebody and say, you know, this is your admin and I need your user ID and password so I can get in and see what's wrong with your account. And um, uh, probably, you know, 90 of them will tell you to take a hike, but 10 of them will tell you uh, it's okay, here it is. Even people from IT, uh, for believe it or not. So this un- in unsophisticated kind of user base and technical base in terms of the users and the operators and the people who are developing systems is, is really kind of killing security more than anything else. And even cloud security, because as, as secure as I can make cloud-based systems, um, the vulnerabilities are going to be the humans that do dumb things, you know, like the NSA thing they did here in the States where they left uh, um, data exposed, unsecured, unencrypted, and the inability to configure security correctly, you know, all the way down to people giving away user ID and passwords with phishing emails and with uh, people who are just calling them up. And so your first line of defense is making people understand what the issues are and get very smart about security or else it's going to be very difficult to implement security, no matter how good the technology is or how good your security personnel is. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. 43% of teams report that less than half of its CRM features are actually being used, which could actually help support and underpin uh, a cybersecurity risk of attack. And, And this could also result in poor data management and reduced returns. Yeah, it's and it's it's a systemic problem, and it exists at the global two thousand companies, which you would expect based on the number of people that are there. You know, all the way down to the very small startups, which just don't have the money to train their people people properly. And the government has the issue, and uh, we're getting better at it because people are aware breaches are kind of on the morning news, and they are typically not dumb enough to give their user ID and password over the phone when someone asks for it. But there's still a subset of people that they haven't gotten to and haven't trained properly. And that's really kind of the first line of the defense that you have for these various systems out there. And that includes uh, the cyber guys, the ability to, to under, understand how you're going to uh, basically secure the cloud-based systems, internal-based systems, network environments, things like that, and the best practices and best tool sets for making that happen. So, and it's not rocket science. It's it's fairly easy to understand once you kind of get the skill sets in there. It's just a matter of obtaining the skills. And I'm always taken back by the gap between where the uh, Global 2000 should be in terms of the personnel versus the kill, skills that currently exist within the organization. And something has to change or we're going to see breaches every week and we're going to see, you know, Armageddon in terms of people stealing information and all this stuff that's been going on in fits and starts over the last couple of years we're going to start seeing it accelerating, even though the tools and technology are getting fine. You know, you're absolutely right, Dave. So what are your top three tips for organizations going forward? Well, I think number one, make training a priority. Um, I, I think that the organizations have a tendency to sweep training budgets away when, t- when money gets tight. And the reality is you can't do that. It really should be part of the security budget. It's not part of the education budget. And the company should splurge on training. It's fairly cheap. The computer-based training out there is fairly easy to get to and get online and get to people. And there's no excuse for you not training your personnel, all the way from the uh, cloud security and system security experts all the way down to the end users. Uh, Don't over-secure your data. I think we have a tendency to find that people um, get frustrated with security when we put too many layers of security around data that really doesn't need it. You know, customer information, you know, that's fine. We can put certain layers around that. Top secret information, you can work for the government, certain layers around that. 
But, you know, sales information, you know, uh, you know, double layer security is just fine. Uh, allow people to access it without getting frustrated around the security procedures that have to take place. And then fin finally, understand that this is about reducing the risk. This is about playing the risk game. So we're never going to have zero risk. And hopefully we're, we're not going to have 100 percent risk that we're going to get breached. It's a matter of beating it down to a reasonable level based on the fact that you're based on your data needs, based on what business you're in, based on the security of the users that are there, the talent of the users that are there, and really have to adjust and your budget in terms of the needs of the, uh, of the system. Great top tips there, Dave. Really appreciate that. You've, you've summarized that fantastically. I hope everyone's got something uh, out of the video this week and out of the Australia show. Thanks for, thanks for being on board. I know you've had a bit of a heavy couple of weeks traveling backwards and forwards all over the world and just got back from India. So thanks for being part of the Australia show this week. I appreciate that. No problem. I'm glad to be back. Excellent. And thanks for watching, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed watching this week's Australia show. Uh, below, there will be links to both David and, and, uh, and my Twitter. So you can check those out. David's on Twitter at David Linthicum, and I'm at under, uh, Nelson underscore Hilliard. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues.